my mother at the same time at the same place. Now go back. That's your mother, right? Yeah. Let, let me see let, if let, I can make. Let, let me let's open go back. it up. Yeah. Let's know. let's go back here. Yeah. There you go. That's your mother. That's in California. Mm -hmm. And when? What year is that about? 1964. Mm -hmm. And what was that first picture you said you had your father this in it? This is my, this is my biological father. I don't know if you'll be able. Maybe I have to edit it and rotate it. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about okay. it. I'll, I will do something. Just, 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 just turn it, turn it, turn, turn the phone. Just turn the phone. Oh, it keeps on turning, yeah. yeah. But you so what I can do is I can edit it and rotate it. Oh, don't worry about it. Yes, that's fine. I'm, I'm, we're on the fly here. So who are you? Wait a second. Who are you? My name is Stacy Rose, okay. and I'm the daughter of Joan Howard. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, what, what brings you, you're the one that brought everybody to ADOS conference. Yes, I wish, it's funny, my parents, mm -hmm. who are on board, I have five other bro uh, siblings, mm -hmm. and you would think that they would mm -hmm. Want to hear about this? For years, I've been trying to talk to them. I have sent photographs of the book, copies of the books, um, mm. and told them mm -hmm. that m not or asked them to read. Mm. People, my family members, want to argue with me without cracking a book, without going to a website, without going and listening on YouTube. But these two older people, who we have been told will not listen, are the ones who are listening. Can I tell you something? I have this saying. It goes, black people don't want to be wrong or wronged. I think they just don't want to be wrong. So therefore, they're not, and I, won't, I won't say it. That's all I say about that. But let me ask you, so how did you find out about ADOS? Following Yvette, at least four years ago, before she was on YouTube with her own show in Irony, she was with Boyce Watkins. Mm -hmm. And I was following Boyce, but something was missing in his conversation. And okay. what was missing in his conversation, I found when he connected with Yvette, the conversation came together for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, oh, this is Yvette Cornell. And I started looking for her. And I started seeing old videos of when she was with Benjamin Dixon and other people. Mm. And when she formed her show, when she and Irony decided on a, on a call-in show, mm. I was hooked. I may have called in on her very first show, mm. but I know I called in within the 10th show. And I loved when she toasted to the end of the Obama era because we had been asleep through the whole thing. And she knew after the first term that we weren't going to move forward as a group and we had been ignored and we would be finished if we did not become Americans. Mm -hmm. And that's what she did for me. She made it, she made all of my lineage American. I already knew we were American, but I hadn't been allowed to be American. Mm -hmm. And I met Stokely Carmichael, who was Kwame Torre through college. I had sat in and listened to Lewis, Minister Louis Farrakhan, who I still respect, but they did not resonate and bring our identity out and what we are owed. This is the wealthiest country ever in the history of the world and it was built on us. And through our political education and understanding what Fred Hampton was trying to tell us, mm, mm. and I respected the Black Panthers. I have their books, I knew who they were. Mm. But to see everyone who has an idea assassinated or in prison, I knew that the only way we can do it is to become a group. Mm. This has to be not a NAACP organization or an urban league or a church or a sorority or fraternity. We have to be rooted in something. And what really roots us mm. as black Americans mm. is slavery mm. and all of the accrued disadvantage, which every generation, as you can see by my mother, and mm -hmm. the legacy of Benjamin Lattimore, and those men and women in Albany and Saratoga who made a way for black people. Harriet Tubman having a place to go because these black people built a church, okay? Frederick Douglass being able to speak to people in New York because black people built a church. 
and, and built businesses and had a thriving community where they looked out, there were free black and there were slaves and they looked out for those who were trying to escape to freedom. I used to believe the myth that people, that people didn't really escape mostly to the north, they went to the south. No, because of our lineage, we know they went to the north. And to think we were trying to share all of this with the world and not getting anything back in return. Well, it's time for even the world to pay up mm. and give us our due. Mm -hmm. Well, Stacy, thank you so very, 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 very much. I appreciate it.